Hi everyone, Exeter Rider. Thanks for coming along to another video. Now this week is another video which I'm quite excited about because it's a brand new bike from Honda for 2023 based on a model which they made back in the 70s again. So they're reviving an old classic Honda, which is always exciting for me. So this week I am showing you the Honda CL500 which is a scrambler style bike. Now, before we have had the uh, CBR 500, the 500X, which was an excellent bike, uh, as is the F and the Honda Rebel. Now, this does share the same chassis with the Honda Rebel, uh, although they have tweaked it, obviously, because it is a, a much higher bike. And I think this is where this bike will come into its own because the Rebel was uh, very low for me. I mean, I'm only, only five foot eight and I've got a 30 inch inside leg measurement, but it did feel quite small. Whereas with this Scrambler styled bike, uh, it is a much higher seat height. In fact, I have the style pack on this one, which brings it up to 820 high. For the seat i think the standard seat is around uh 790 i believe so some points that really stick out on this bike is obviously the uh, big exhaust there uh, it's a high up exhaust as well in true scrambler fashion now when i first saw this bike i found it so quirky with its uh, little styling elements that i was a little unsure about it to be perfectly honest with you uh, the big exhaust there seems a bit clumpy um, and it just seemed a bit bare to me. However, uh, this has grown on me quite a lot now. I think out of all of them, mainly due to the seat height and it feeling a bigger bike to ride, that I think this could be my favourite one, you know, now, out of the 500 range. The bars are quite high up off the floor as well. So that's going to give you a lot of road presence. You're sat up in a nice position. It's only £6,000. So, uh, yeah, there's not much competition for this bike either. To my knowledge, I think it stands alone in the market, which was quite clever of Honda to, to bring this bike out. So it's, it's almost like a Honda Rebel. Um, but, again, with the Honda Rebel, the, the seat is so low. you sat so low down. Whereas with this, you're set up nice and high. So I think this is going to be quite a big hitter, actually. I think this bike's going to do well. Right, so uh, what you guys want to know is what it's like to ride. So uh, let's jump straight on it and go out for a ride. So what is it like to ride on? What is the comfort like? And how does the bike feel? That's the most important thing. And uh, I've got a lot to say on that with this bike actually. Now first of all, it, if you've ridden the other 500s, the X, the F, CBR, or the Rebel, then you'll kind of know what to expect from the engine. We do have an added tuff on the rear sprocket so that does make a, a small different difference, really. And like with the Rebel, it's a little bit on and off the uh, throttle. Uh, that just softens it out just a little bit. You can't really notice it a massive amount, but I still notice it because obviously uh, reviewing bikes all the time, I, I am pretty switched on like that. So uh, now where this bike is different is how it corners and uh, just the more upright position uh, compared to the, the rest of the bike. The bars are quite wide. Uh, I don't know whether that's psychological compared to the X version of this bike, but it certainly feels uh, a bit more, you know, scrambly fied and obviously we've got the 19 inch front wheel as well, which does make a difference over the drain covers and the potholes. It does help a lot. 
Uh, one thing I have noticed, which I'll show you on the walk round, is uh, just how soft the front suspension is. Uh, you don't really notice it when you're riding along, but it, it really is very soft indeed, which is actually quite nice because when you are going over the, the small uh, undulations in, in the road, it, uh, it tends to float over with no dramas. So uh, that, that's actually quite a nice trait about this bike. Uh, as normal, the clutch is feather light very light indeed. I don't want to get it too dirty. I haven't taken the nice photos yet. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it feels quite sprightly like all of the uh, bikes do in the 500 range again. Now I am comparing it to the 500 range a lot from Honda because that is this bike's competition. It's up against itself or up against the, the brand itself, should I say. So that's what I'm going to pitch it against. Yes, it might be a bit of a Marmite bike to look at for people, but as with anything, try and get on one, get to your local Honda dealer and see if you can test ride one. Because as I say, you know, it, it didn't grab me in the beginning. I, I nearly even asked if I could take out another bike. But uh, actually, this uh, might become my favorite 500, I think, from the Honda range. The suspension is a little bit uh, boingy boingy, a uh, bit pogo sticky fives. It is adjustable. I think we've got uh, one stage down from standard preload and then four stages up. So five stage preload on the back and on the front isn't um, adjustable at all. Low down pull is very good. As you can see, I'm going up a very steep hill here. And uh, third gear as it's telling me on the dash. Uh, same dash as the Honda Rebel. It's a bit frustrating because the, the, the bike's really uh, nicely put together and that, but the dash is it's very vague, really. It's not even a sunny day, you know. I don't know whether the, uh, that would make it worse on a sunny day. I'd imagine it would do. Um, but yeah, it, it could, be, uh, could be a bit brighter. Uh, it is digital, it tells you the information that you need, uh, it's got the fuel gauge there, the uh, gear indicator which is nice to have, at the time and a nice size speed monitor there. It tells you the information that you need but unfortunately it's just a little bit vague in doing so, so uh, I wish that was uh, better. If you haven't come here before to the Exeter Rider channel, uh, I have had long-term bikes from Honda uh, such as the brilliant 500F which is a fantastic bike it was my favorite in the in the uh, 500 range whereas now I think this takes that accolade um, what else have I done 500 CBR which again was a brilliant bike I've done the 500X which I didn't particularly get on well with I'm probably about the only person in the world that didn't get on too well with it but it granted uh, and yeah and I've done a, a, a few others as well you know Honda's Honda Monkey etc all brilliant bikes and it's great to see a, a classic uh, revived here but yeah do uh, drop the video a like and uh, do subscribe for more because I will have more coming from Honda in 2023 that'd be great to have you along in this case this is just a uh, a day's loan today and that comes from Bridge Motorcycles in Exeter who are uh, it's a very good shop to go down and have a look around they they are a multi franchise dealer and have a a really good Honda section uh, within that so uh, pop down and have a look there and uh, you probably need to allow an hour I expect by the time you go in and have a coffee as well uh, but it's a it's a lovely shop down there I'm very lucky to live so close by it actually so yeah pop down have a look it's well worthwhile back to the bike yeah feet position is really nice as well it's just slightly forward to my to my bum should I say uh, so slightly forward which is quite nice but so the brakes are absolutely fine there's nothing to write home about there I am finding the seat hard I think probably after a while it might start to bug me 
at the moment it's okay but perhaps I would have liked that a little bit softer apparently this uh, seat that I've got on additional seat it has got thicker padding than the stock seat so I, I would imagine the stock seat isn't as comfortable mirrors on the right is really quite good uh, it goes above my elbow and it tells me what I need to know the left hand mirror isn't telling me an awful lot <laughs> so maybe I need to have a play around with that to sort that out and make it a bit better but again you know with this bike it's surprising because the gears are the gearbox is very easy to use uh, snicks into place really really nicely everything about it is non-fatiguing about this bike so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you to a bit of town riding and going through traffic and let you know what that's like Obviously when you're going through city traffic and things like that, you want your visibility to be good to other cars. Uh, that is one of the major bonuses with this Honda CL500 is because it is high up. We have the LED light on the front with the daytime running lights and uh, even he can see me in front there, look. Thank you. Cheers, pal. And um, yeah, so it's a really important factor is visibility. That's what made me slightly uncomfortable with the Honda Rebel. It's because you were so low uh, to the ground that you, you kind of had to make yourself visible to the cars. Whereas with this, I feel like they can, they can see me all the time. I'm above the, um, I mean, where the light is, the front light, is, is right on sort of wing mirror heights. But for visibility in traffic, which is so important, it is pretty darn good um the steering is very light as well because obviously we got a big 19 inch front wheel there so uh it is quite nippy and, and zippy and light on top in fact i'd even say that it feels lighter than what the f and the other 500 models do so um yeah i mean for city riding and traffic uh it's pretty good it's nice and easy and also of course it's you know with the light clutch as well it does make a difference okay guys for the walk round let's start here 16 litre tank you should get 85 miles to the UK gallon out of that tank no problem at all so when you fill up, I would say that you'll probably be refilling every 140 to 150 miles or so. Very, very economical bikes. Uh, the tank also looks really nice and we've got the tank pads on the side as well. So when you sat on the bike, the pegs do get in the way slightly if you're putting your feet down. Uh, you get used to that in no time and just deal with that as, as you need to. Uh, I'm five foot eight, I've got a 30 inch inside leg measurement. Uh, I'm flat footing the bike very very comfortable um, the first thing which you do notice when you're on the bike is how soft that front suspension is there uh, looks good with the gaiters I'll give them that but it is very very soft indeed so how does that translate out on the road now sat here now I can quite easily push the suspension nearly to its you know 150 millimeter maximum there but out on the road actually works really well combined with the 19 inch front wheel so you wouldn't want to do too much heavy green laning or off-roading with this bike but for on the road which is let's face it that's where this bike is mainly going to live for nearly everybody um, it, it works actually quite well uh, as I've mentioned already when you're pushing pushing it a bit then the, the front and the rear does start to get a little bit floaty uh, but um, again if you're just somebody who uh, doesn't really push a bike into the corners and just using it for commuting then uh, you're going to be fine absolutely no issue with that at all left bar indicators left and right horn and high beam low beam and a pass on the other side the clutch and the brake are non-adjustable but the clutch is very very light yeah. on the right hand bar kill switch 
hazards and start button. The indicators tail light and headlight is LED. Uh, I have, obviously I'm riding this bike in the day. I don't know what the uh, LED front light is going to be like, but they're generally always good, aren't they? Um, so you're not going to have any issues there. We also have the Honda uh, emergency hazard light warning. So if you anchor on the brakes and the ABS kicks in, then the hazard lights on the rear will flash, uh, which, which is always an added bonus, isn't it? Anything's a bonus in that situation to warn other drivers behind you that you are braking heavily. So Now, when it comes down to styling, it is quite a strongly styled bike. So it is going to be a bit of a Marmite bike, I think. Uh, you're either going to like it or not. Uh, believe it or not, I didn't like it much in the beginning. It all seemed a little bit out there for me. Um, when you think of a scrambler, I guess, you know, this is kind of what you're looking at and it is trying to be uh, diplomatic to the way that the original CL500 was back in the 70s. So we have this very prominent exhaust here, the stainless steel top here, obviously to stop your uh, pillion's legs being burnt. And then we have the quite prominent 19 inch front wheel there as well. Uh, gaiters on the front forks here, which are traditional style way up. The tyres have been uh, okay. Uh, this is a brand new bike. I haven't had any moments. They are the Dunlop Trail Max and they're 50-50 tyres as they're called. Um, so yeah, for a bit of gravel riding they'll be fine. I much prefer this to be hidden away behind a cow or uh, some sort of plastics perhaps, but this is fully exposed. So uh, that's my only gripe about it, is that that will eventually deteriorate. Uh, along here and obviously we don't have the front mud guard either um, powder coated nicely great which does make a, a difference so the bike is a2 it produces 45 horsepower at 8500 rpm and 43 newton meters of torque at 6000 rpm it's got a six speed gearbox which is very easy to use very snickable and very light Suspension is 41 mil forks on the front with 150 mils worth of travel. It's, it's a good fun bike, light bike to ride. It's a good first bike, it's a good commuter, and it's, you know, dare I say, it's probably a good Sunday rider as well. You know, pull out the garage and just go for a ride. Another prominent piece about this bike is the rear swing arm, which is actually tubular as opposed to a rectangle box section. And uh, again, it just gives this bike a bit of its uh, a uniqueness, shall we say. Colour options are Candy Caribbean Blue Sea, Matte Laurel Green Metallic, Matte Gunpowder Black Metallic, or Candy Energy Orange. In other words, Blue, Green, Black or Orange. Now, with it being a Honda, one thing you are guaranteed, of course, is Honda reliability and uh, decent service intervals as well. So. Within that six grand, I think you have to take it in for its first service. I think it's around 600 miles. Don't quote me on this. I haven't really uh, done my homework too well on this yet. So it's around that area and then it's every 8,000, I believe, which is fantastic, you know, for, for an oil change, you know. So uh, and uh, also as good as this bike rides today, I guarantee it. When you put even 30,000 miles on it, it will still ride as well. Because Honda, there's no doubt about it, well, in my mind, that Honda do make the most bulletproof reliable bikes. I don't think that can be um, questioned. So if you're somebody who wants a reliable workhorse and something with a bit of character as well, then uh, yeah, this is a good bike for you. So what is the Honda CL500 like at faster speeds? Well, first of all, it will get you there, no, no problem at all. It'll get you there up to legal limits quickly. Um, if you're mechanically sympathetic, you might find that uh, it's revving more than what you like and the extra turf on the rear sprocket doesn't help that. Uh, I am at 68 miles an hour at the moment. If I did want to uh, have a bit of roll on power, let's see what it'll do. Let's open her up. 72, 75, 76, 77. Yeah, it'll roll, roll on pretty quick up to uh, much, much higher speeds there. So no issues there. 
So uh, I'm just going to move out here actually, get, get past that tractor. Yeah, so you won't have any issues there. So overall it will do it. Uh, it is a little bit a tad buzzy, but at the same time, um, yeah, again, with it being a 500cc bike, you do tend to find that uh, it, it is really, it's probably the best happy medium in engine capacity for all round work. So that's it. Thank you very much to Bridge Motorcycles for lending me the bike. Uh, very much appreciated. It's great that I've uh, tried it and um, keeping up with, you know, new bikes that are coming out. So thank you very much for that. Uh, overall, I would recommend this bike to anyone. I think it's a really good bike. I think it's uh, great what they've done here and brought out a new style. Um, and it, it really does work. And uh, most importantly, it works for taller people, which the other bikes uh, were a bit hit and miss there. So it works really well, really well done. So thank you very much and uh, like, subscribe, It'll be super. And I'll see you next week on the next video. Thank you.